Yeah, welcome back. We go to the next problem. Analyze the beam A, B, C by moment distribution method and draw BMD and SFT. Portion AB in this continuous beam subjected to UDL. BC is subjected to an eccentric point load. If there is UDL, we know to calculate the fixed end moments. If it is an eccentric loading, we know to calculate the fixed end moments. That means first step is assuming AB is a fixed beam subjected to UDL now. Therefore, MF AB fixed end moment at A will be minus WL squared by 12 is the formula. W is the intensity of the UDL 10 into 4 squared by 12 minus 13.33 kilonewton meter. Then MFBA because of symmetrical loading that is also WL squared by 12 and it will be plus 13.33 kilonewton meter. Now assume the portion of the beam BC as fixed. Therefore fixed end moment at B is given by minus WO A that is 2 meter B square that is 3 square divided by L square is 5 square. You will get minus 36 kilonewton meter and MFCB is that is this will become single degree that is 50 into 3 into 2 square divided by 5 square it is plus 24 kilonewton meter that is fixed end moments now We have to calculate distribution factor. That is for distribution factor. In this beam, the only joint is B. Coming to the member, this joint is with BA and BC. Coming to the stiffness, K is the beam here. Fix it. This and this also hinge or roller support, whatever it is. We are calculating stiffness at joint B. B A A foreign is fixed. Therefore, it is four E I by L. That is 4 E I by 4 is the span of this. It will be E I. Coming to B C. 
B. C. Stiffness. Far end and it is the last end, edge end, is inched. In that case, the stiffness factor we know 3 EI by L. That is 3 EI divided by L is 5 meter. It is 0.6 EI. Therefore, sigma k will be 1 and 0 0.6, 1 1.6 EI. Coming to distribution factor, for BA, it is the stiffness of that member divided by the sum of the stiffness at that joint. Therefore, it is EI divided by 1.6 EI. It will be 0.625. Coming to joint BC, it is its stiffness divided by the total stiffness 1.6 EI. It is 0.55. That is the distribution factor at joint B. Now we have to distribute or balance the things so that we should get modified FEM because here modified FEM are required because end support is hinged. If end support is hinged or overhanging then the fixed end moments we have calculated should be modified. Now that can be done like this. A, B, C. The fixed moment we have calculated MFAB as minus 13.33 mf ba is plus 13.33 mf bc is minus 36 mf cb is plus 24 Now, here, nothing to balance, end, because 30, it is a fixed support actually, but here, it is an injured support. Therefore, fixed end, sorry, end moment here should be 0. To do that, you should add minus 24. But if you add 24, that should be carried by 50%, that means minus 12. Therefore, modified fixed end moment will be minus 13.33 plus 13.33 and this will be minus 48 and this will be zero because it is injured support. These are modified FEM. This is done only if the 
there is edge injured support or roller support or overhanging portion now the df that is distribution factor that we have calculated here Point six two five for BA and point five five that is point six two five and 0.55 are the distribution factor for this joint B. Now therefore, next it should be balanced because here it is 13.33 Minus 48 is 34.67 is the difference or unbalanced moment here that should be balanced means it is plus 34.67 Six seven, and that should be distributed to BA and BC in the ratio or in the proportion of this distribution factor. That is thirty four point six seven into point six two five. It will be twenty one point six seven. Twenty one point six seven. This should be balanced with a distribution factor of 0.55, it will be plus 13. Once you have balanced, it should be carried over to this. It is half of that. That is 21.67 divided by 2. It is 10.83. It is plus 10.83. That's all. This should not be carried because it is already zero. End moment is finalized. Therefore, the process is over. Now, final. moments will be this and this FEM and carry over things you will get minus 2.5 that is minus 13.33 plus 10.83 and here this FEM modified FEM and balanced moment should be added we get exactly 35 and here this 48 and 13 minus 48 and 13 it will be minus 35 and finally at C end moment will be 0 is over final end moments that's what it is shown in this table the final moments are this now after calculating the final moments to draw
Penny moment and elastic curl and shear force. First, we should calculate. the simple reactions that is RA, RB, huh. and if you take another portion of the beam that is A, B and BC is the another portion they are loaded with UDL full intensity is 10 kilo newton meter here it is point load 50 kilo newton and this is 2 and this is 3 meter here from symmetry, RA and RB are equal, equal to 10 into 4 is the equivalent point load 40, that means here 20, here also 20. Coming to this, RB, RC, here Sigma RB plus RC will be 50. Algebraic sum of the vertical forces. If you take moment about this, 5 RC will be equal to 50 into 2, 100. Therefore, RC will be 100 by 5, it is 20. Due to moments, it is anti clockwise. That is minus 2.5 plus 35 plus 35 equals this RB into 4 meter. Therefore, RB will be 35 minus 8.125 and RA will be minus 8.125 therefore net RA will be 8.125 20 minus 8.125 plus 
it will be 11.875 that is RA similarly RB will be due to loading it is 20 and due to this 8.125 it is 28.125 Similarly here, due to moments, here it is minus 35, that is anti-clockwise, here it is 0, this is minus anti-clockwise. Therefore, if you take moment about this, due to this, let it is RC. Here it is RB. Now minus thirty five. This is anti clockwise. This is also anti clockwise minus RC into the span five equals zero. Therefore, RC will be minus 7. Correct. And RB will be RB will be plus 7. Therefore, net RB will be AB portion due to loads 20, AB portion due to moment 28.125 and BC portion due to load it is 30 and BC portion due to load it is plus 7. That comes to 20 plus 28.125 37 it is 87 sorry 85 point 125 87 point 03 28.19 Similarly, RC can be calculated. Now, if you draw any moment diagram, you can see here, this is two point, uh, sorry, this is due to loading W L squared by 8 is the bedding moment. W into 10 square divided by 8. W is 10 into L square is 4 square divided by 8. You will get 20 kilonewton meter and it is a parabola maximum at a mid span. Now this will be maximum at this point. 
it is a straight variation and due to simple loading that is 50 kilo newton now then if you overlap the body movement diagram due to end moments which are here minus 2.5 at the at a this minus 2.5 then at b plus 35.5 here and minus 35 it will be here only and finally it will be zero this is the bending moment diagram due to end moments therefore this edged portion will be the net bending moment diagram that is combined bending moment diagram to draw shear force diagram from beam axis RA is 11.81 that is due to this loading and due to end moment it will be up plus 11.81 assuming that there is no UDL you go horizontally and you go down by an amount equal to 10 into 40 that is minus 40 and plus 11.81 it will be 28.19 and from here you go up by 28.19 and this 37.03 because rb will be rb1 plus rb2 then from b to c it is horizontal and from here you go 50 down so that you will reach minus 12.97 here and go horizontally because no loading from here to here at this point you go up by an amount equal to rc that is 12.97 now that is the shear force diagram if you want elastic curve it is a fixed end therefore slope will be zero up to this it is sagging here little sagging again this one sorry this is hogging therefore elastic curve will come horizontally here like this then it will take a sagging like this then hugging up to this and a sagging like this elastic curve if you want to draw elastic curve now that is the analysis of this second problem now this analysis of now the next problem analyze the continuous beam shown in figure and draw BMD elastic curve and shear force diagram now here both the ends are fix it therefore there is no question of calculating the modified end moments whatever may be first we should calculate the fixed end moments assuming a b as fixed b c as fixed c d as fixed AB it is central point load for WO 
You can use AB squared by 12. AB squared, W AB squared by L squared. A is 2, B is also 2. You will get MF AB minus 25. And similarly, as it is symmetrical loading, MF BA is also 25. Coming to MF BC, it is subjected to UDL throughout. Therefore, it is W L squared by 12. Fuse that formula. MF BC is minus 31.25 and MF CB is minus 50 minus 31 point plus 31.25 kilonewton meter both are same it is CB coming to this span portion CD again if you assume CD is fixed MFCD will be minus W8 into A is 2, B squared is 3 squared divided by L squared is 5 squared. If you calculate, it is minus 57.6 kilonewton meter. Now lastly, MFDC, it is W80 W80 into 2 into 3 square divided by 5 square, we get 38.4 kilonewton meter. Now it is stiffness factors. At joint B, KBA, A, agent is fixed, therefore it is 4 EI by L. L is 4 meter, therefore it is <coughs> EI. Then KBC, it is an intermediate member, again 4 EI by L, 4 E into I divided by L is 5, therefore it is 0.8 EI. Coming to joint C, CB is an intermediate joint, therefore it is 4 EI by L, it is same point 0.8 EI. KCD, again far end, far edge end is fixed, therefore it is 4 EI by L only, that is L is 5 meter, point 0.8 EI, that is stiffness factor. Coming to the distribution factor, distribution factor delta BA will be stiffness of BA, KBA divided by sum of the stiffnesses at joint BA that is KBA plus KBC it will be 0.56. Similarly, distribution factor for the member BC will be the stiffness of BC divided by some of the stiffnesses at joint B that is due to BA and BC. Again it will be 0 0.44. Here delta CB it is stiffness of the member CB divided by total stiffness at the joint C due to CB and CD will come to 0.5. Similarly, delta CD, it is CD, it is stiffness of the member CD divided by sum of the stiffnesses at joint C, it is due to KCB and KCD, it will be again 0.5. Now, here there is no modified fixed end moments, therefore, it is only balance and carry over for which 
adjoint A, B, C, D. At B, distribution factor BA is 0.56 and BC is 0.44. At C, it is 0.5 and CD is 0.5. These are the FEM that we have calculated. Minus 25, minus 20, plus 25. MFBC minus 31.2C, 25. And MFCB plus 31.25. MFCD is minus 57.6. And MFDC 38.4. Now here, balancing. Now, at joint B, the unbalanced force is this. Both should be same. But here, 25 and 31.5. Therefore, 25 and 31.5 difference. Twenty five minus thirty one point two five. It is minus six point two five. Now that is the unbalanced force between these two and minus six point two five. We should balance in the ratio of this distribution factor. That means minus 6.25 should be balanced means plus 6.25. That 6.25 should be distributed to this BA with a distribution factor 0.56. That means 6.25 into 0.56, it will be 3.5. And 6.25... In the distribution factor of 0.4 into 0.44, it will be 2.75 to BC. Similarly, here the unbalanced moment is 31.25 minus 57.6. It is 26.35. The 26.35 should be distributed or first balanced to make it zero means plus 26.235. That plus 26.35 should be distributed in the ratio of 0.5 to CB and CD. That is into 0.5. We'll get 13.175. This is the balanced. That balanced moment should be carried over to the opposite end by 50%. That is here. Carry over here. And this 2.75, 50% to here. This 50% to here. This carry over to here. Now, again, here, there is unbalanced that is 6.587 and here no moment therefore this should be balanced means minus 0 0.65 6.587 that minus 6.587 should be distributed to year and year in the ratio of 0.56. That is minus 0.56.587 into 0.56 means 3.688 and this into 0.44 means 2.89. Similarly, here this 1.35 and here nothing is there. Therefore, unbalanced is 1.35. 75 balance it means minus 1.375 and that should be distributed to cb and cd in the ratio of 0.5 that means this 0.687 minus 0.1375 should be distributed here 
to 0.687 and 0.687. And now this should be carried here by 50%. This should be to here 50% carry over and carry over this 50% here and carry over this 50% to here. Now again here it is not matching. It is unbalanced. Therefore, this unbalanced here, it is minus 0.343 unbalanced. Balance it means it is 0.343. That 0.343 should be distributed to this BA and BC in the proportion of distribution factor. That means into 0.56. It will be 0.192 and 0.34. 3 into 0.44 means 0.15. Similarly, this minus 1.445 and here nothing is there. Is the unbalanced moment. This unbalanced moment, balanced means it is plus 1.445. That should be distributed to CB and CD in the ratio of distribution factor that is 0.5. It will be 0.722 to year and to year. And this should be carried to year 50%. And this should be carried year 50%. This should be carried year 50%. This should be carried year by 50%. Now again here it is unbalanced 0.361 and balance it it will be minus 0.361 that minus 0.361 should be distributed to this C B A and B C in the proportion of this distribution factor that means minus 0.361 into 0.56 it will be 0 0.202 and minus 0.361 into 0.44 it will be 0 0.158 similarly here 0 0.075 and nothing is there is the unbalanced moment and balance it means it is minus 0 0.075 that minus 0 0.075 should be distributed to C B and C D in the ratio of the distribution factor 0.5.5. That is, it will be point minus point 0 0.375 minus point 0 0.375. Now carry over this half to year, half to year, half to year, half to year. Now again, there is unbalanced force. 0 0.018. Now, minus 0 0.018 is the unbalanced force. Balance it means it is plus 0 0.018. That plus 0 0.018 should be distributed to BA and BC in the ratio of the respective distribution factor. That means plus 0 0.018 into 0 0.56. It is plus 0 0.01 and plus 0 0.018 into 0 0.44 means 0 0.008 and this between this joint this is the unbalanced moment unbalanced moment balance it means it is plus 0 0.079 plus 0 0.079 should be distributed to B, C, B and C, D with a ratio of, with a distribution factor 0.5. That means 0 0.04, 0 0.04. Carry over this to the opposite end by 50%. This to year 50%. This to year 50%. This to year 50%. Again, if you do balancing here, 0 0.02 and this is nothing. Therefore, unbalanced. Balance means 0 0.02. Pi minus 0 0.02 into 0 0.56 means 0 
0.01 with negative sign and this minus 0.02 into 0.44 is minus 0.008. It is very, very my, my negligible difference it is going. Similarly here, unbalanced is 0 0.004. Balance it means it is minus 0 0.004. Minus 0 0.004 means it is distributed to CP and CD in the ratio of 0.5 that is distribution factor 0 0.002 and minus 0 0.002. Now, I think iteration it can be stopped because there is no much variation at the end. Therefore, final moment we can calculate as the sum of all these things that is here 20, minus 25 plus 1.75 minus 1.84 plus 0.96 plus oh sorry minus 0 0.10 plus 0 0.005 and minus 0 0.01 we get minus 25 only and this summation 25 33.5 3.6 1.92 to 0.2 this vertical summation it is 24.8 and this one again if you add all these things it is minus 24.8 there is no unbalanced moment here. That is why iteration is stopped. And here it is minus 44.39. And if you add all these things, it will be minus 44.39. You see, there is no variation. That is why iteration is stopped. Wherein here the difference you can see 31 and here 57. Here it has come to very minute. And last end, this fixed end moment, you can calculate the summation, it will be 45. Now, to draw shear force diagram and bidding moment diagram, fixed end moment should be, sorry, uh, free end reaction should be calculated. Now, VA, VB1, due to this moment and due to the external loading, if you calculate VA will be 25.05 and VB1 will be 24.95 and similarly here due to UDL directly it is 15 into this 5 75 divided by 2 means this will be 37.5 this is 37.5 but due to this moment also 24.8 it is anti clockwise 44.39 clockwise that also should be considered and due to that reaction is calculated put together this is vb2 is the reaction due to external loading and moment it is 33.6 kilonewton similarly at c if you calculate it is vc1 41.42 this is VC2. VC2 will be 47.878 kN. Lastly, VD. Can be calculated and we can draw shear force diagram by taking upward forces positive, downward forces negative. That is the shear force diagram. The diagram which falls above positive, below it is negative. Now the bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram again. Bending moment diagram due to loading is drawn first. That is in the first plan. It is symmetrical loading. Symmetrical point loading. That is WL by 4 is the maximum bending moment. 50 into 4 by 4 it will be 50 kilonewton meter. It is straight variation triangle. Now the span BC is subjected to UDL of 15 kilonewton per meter. Again, it is symmetrical loading. Maximum bending moment will be W L squared by 8. W is 15 into L is 5 squared divided by 8. It is 46.87. And it is a parabola, symmetrical. 
now here in this portion cd if you try to draw simple bending moment diagram it is eccentric point load which is at a distance of 2 meter from left end in a span of 5 meter therefore at this point the bending moment is calculated due to loading only and it is WOAB by L that is 80 into A23 2 into 3 divided by 596 kilo Newton meter. Now due to loading this triangle and this parabola and this triangle and due to moment we have calculated at A M A B at the end final moments it is minus 2.5 it will be drawn here and at the uh, plus 2.4 20 sorry 24.8 and minus 24.8 here yeah, it will be drawn 24.8 and at joint c proper sign convention is used and 44.38 or 39 and lastly at this point it is 45 finally it comes to zero now if you join them due to end moment of 2.5 due to end moment of 24.8 due to end moment of 44.39 and due to end moment of 45 now the left one it is hatched one here is the next pedi moment diagram if you want to draw elastic curve for this see here it is hugging a is a fixed end hugging means there is no bending of the beam for some length it will go like this like this hugging up to this it is sagging and from this is up to this it is hugging sagging this is hugging and from here up to this it is hugging support c is there therefore here curvature will change like this this is hugging now from here this point it is sagging again curvature will change it will be like this that is sagging now up to this it is hugging hugging means it will come like this because it should pass through the support this is hugging now at this point up to this it is sagging means it will go like this now here it is hugging because of fixity at d it will be slope will be zero and then it bends like this that is hugging and sagging is the elastic curve now this is the analysis of this long continuous beam with both ends fixed okay we will try to exercise some more problem in the next hour thank you